The world is facing a huge pandemic of the COVID-19 viral disease. And as you know, we are all in lockdown to prevent the propagation of infection, not only to self, but also to others. And that leaves us with an almost total lack of exposure to sunlight. So there are risks as sunlight gives us a lot of our vitamin D and it can produce deficiency which can promote the virus and other infections. We are already a vitamin D deficient nation. Although we are in the tropics, studies have shown that 80 to 90% of us have deficiency or some degree of insufficiency. It is very strange. It was McKellen who said that not having nutrients can cause disease and people made fun of him saying how can you get a disease by not taking something. But time has proved how correct he is. Vitamin D is one such nutrient. It is also a hormone generally sourced from sunlight and in appropriate amounts it has many health benefits. Besides its actions on bone and various cells of the body it is required in maintaining a healthy immune system and protecting against disease. Appropriate vitamin D is necessary to ensure that we have intact innate immunity, which is our body's defense, especially against viral infection as of now in COVID-19, so that our population does not become victims of pneumonias and other severe respiratory diseases. How does it do that? How does it modulate the immune mechanism? On the one hand, vitamin D upregulates the antimicrobial peptides, namely catelicidin, to enhance the clearance of bacteria and viruses at various sites, especially the lung. It also modulates the adaptive and innate immune system, on the other hand, by its direct effects on the T-cell activation of antigen-presenting cells, particularly the dendrite cells. Importantly, vitamin D corrects the balance between a pro- and anti-inflammatory state, thereby restoring the disturbed balance that is associated with autoimmune diseases, showing thereby that it has a great role in preventing inflammation. So we need to supplement vitamin D, especially during this lockdown, because that will boost our immunity and prevent us from getting and propagating this virus. What is the role of vitamin D in chronic diseases? Recent studies have shown that vitamin D levels are negatively correlated to the prevalence of type 2 diabetes, beta cell function, insulin resistance, body fat and BMI. It does this by regulating the concentration of intracellular calcium by vitamin D dependent calcium binding protein. It also has a role in cardiovascular disease. Vitamin D metabolites act on multiple domains of inflammation, thrombosis and the renin angiotensin aldosterone system pathways and its effects in endothelial cells where it stimulates nitric oxide thereby helping in the prevention of cardiovascular disease and endothelial dysfunction. It has a questionable role in cancer. Studies have shown there's an association or an increased risk of incident cancer with low vitamin D levels. Even in neuropsychiatric disorders, its deficiency may help in the causation of depression, epilepsy and neurocognitive decline. Osteoporosis, osteomalacia and increased fracture risk is associated with vitamin D deficiency. So to summarize, vitamin D supplementation is required for musculoskeletal health, for the brain and nervous system, pregnancy and its role is associated with cardiovascular health, metabolism, diabetes and heart disease and possible it helps in cancer prevention. Fatty fish, especially cod liver oil, is the only food that contains large amount of this vitamin. Shellfish and egg yolks also contain small quantities but mainly we get our vitamin D from the sun. So we need to supplement adequately at all times and especially now 
during lockdown as well.